their dogs. She owns stock in edible underoos, and she says that Jay Leno is a very good tipper. So, without further ado, Danielle Pony Mahoney. Yeah, I'm a stripper. <laughs> so they told me this show's for charity. Charity? Like, charity who works at the honey hole? <laughs> Seriously, I know her, and she will totally blow it. Literally. No, 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 no. It's for the Channel Island Marine Wildlife Institute. Oh, sweet. I'm totally cool. If they want, I would make a video. We could call it Girls Gone Wildlife. <laughs> So yeah, I'm taking off an article of clothing. Hopefully I'll be naked by the end of this show. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been there. Not on. <laughs> so they told me I've got about seven minutes. There's a lot of things you can do in seven minutes. Take seven minutes of heaven. You know, some seven minutes of some quality time. I had a Catholic boyfriend once. I'd send him to the closet to make him wait for me. I like to call it seven minutes in purgatory. <laughs> I probably should feel a little bit more guilty about that. <laughs> <laughs> Sparkly things make me feel more comfortable at home. <laughs> Not like you guys have a high expectation of strippers, right? <laughs> you know, I've always known I wanted to be a stripper since junior high. I've had it planned out for years. It was just one of those things I just knew I had to do. I wanted to be bad. Like, really bad. Like, Michael Jackson bad. Imagine it. The lights come on. leather jacket, some hot pants, I'd point, I'd air hum, I'd point some more, oh! you know, the one thing I learned getting into stripping is People are not paying for creativity. That was seriously followed by, show me a puss. <laughs> and also, you should be a comedian. <laughs> you know it's time to get out of the Nike biz when someone says you should be a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, I was gonna come out in little hot pants tonight, but these are exceptionally very, very, very warm pants. <laughs> Like, <laughs> like sweat stash kind of warm. I can tell you like it. Actually, under these lights, it's more like a sweat goatee. Woo! So a little stripping 101 for you. Generally, stripping songs, they're out of like a R&B, rock nature. It took me a few tries to get it right. I'm not gonna lie. The theme song, The Blossom, not a hit. Mambo number five, straight up boner killer. <laughs> <Woo! laughs> yeah. Oh, oh God, I better go. Wait, wait, wait. Some of the girls at the 
Honey Hole that I work with, they like to rock out. You know, they'll dance to some of their favorite rockers. I thought, why wouldn't I try? Apparently, horn dogs do not share my love for Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> Landslide brought them down. <laughs> Somebody's getting naked. <laughs> I seriously haven't started any of my drugs yet. It's not noon. <sighs> Some of the girls that I work with, they like to dance to R&B. You know, sometimes they pick the wrong songs for themselves. Take Brandy with an eye. She dances to Milkshake. How could she do that? Her shit's not real. If she was dancing to the right song, it sounded more like my truck stop coffee, powder, cream, or two pink sugar packets brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> <laughs> and seriously, just to clarify, Brandy with an I is not how she spells her name. She has a glass eye. <laughs> seriously, I told you, everything is fake. She's got a glass eye, a prosthetic leg. She brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> <laughs> so glad I have my purse. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Hope that's okay. That's all the sweat. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised, you know, being a stripper, the songs that make you the most money. My biggest go-to, the one that I can always make sure to pay my rent. Anything by the Spin Doctors. <laughs> I'm serious. It's Little Miss, Little Miss, Little Miss, see my thumb. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drop what's in there. <laughs> All right, more stripper facts. So we use shaving cream to keep the poles sticky at work. You know, the poles. Yeah, I've been trying to figure out ways to, you know, suggest that we change to Nair so we can keep everything smooth at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we got some Hawks fans up in here. Woo! <laughs> Have you guys heard about this new kind of trend? It's tripping, tipping with quarters. Anybody? <laughs> no, seriously, people are doing it. I mean, money's money, but does it take that much coin to wash my laundry? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, seriously, I wear panties. <laughs> Panties. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Tipping with quarters. Have you guys ever tried to pick those up with your ass? <laughs> that shit just can't be done. I don't care how long you've been in the biz. At the end of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking quarters. <laughs> so, like I said, I work at the Honey Hole. We got the three-foot rule on the main floor. It's kind of a looky, no touchy kind of deal. I've seen beer guts that challenge the three-foot rule. <laughs> I've given lap dances to guys that challenge the three-inch rule. <laughs> I think that gets another <laughs> Ride the pony. Do you get it? <laughs> My nickname's Pony. <laughs> I had to buy it. <laughs> so the champagne rooms, those are the ones that, you know, it's a little more cozy, touchy. You know, cozy and touchy, it equals more money. It's science, really. <laughs> Us strippers are pretty scientific. <laughs> it's actually really nice to have all the blood rushing to my feet for a change.
<laughs> I once danced at an AA convention. There was no champagne in the sex room. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case I needed a couple more glitter sparkles, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh! <laughs> Flashing objects. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time that I've ever been asked to do anything for the public where I wasn't getting cut by dollar bills or getting orange crush spilled in my lap. <laughs> I mean, seriously, dudes, you buy a lap dance. Can't you let go of your soda for just a minute while I grind on you? Are you really concerned that I'm going to, like, roofie your drink and steal all your money? <laughs> <laughs> Not that much coin to wash that, I'm telling you. <laughs> I've been stripping for so long that I pretty much cry champagne, sweat all of Paris Hilton's fragrance line, and I queef glitter. <laughs> like seriously, I could practically vajazzle myself queefing glitter. <laughs> I know you guys are thinking about that. I should dance to milkshake. <laughs> so you know the stereotype that all the girls are going, trying to pay their way through college, be dental hygienists, all that bullshit. I went to college. I graduated. It was clown college. <laughs> I like to think that it was more, you know, physical theater. But yeah, you should ask me about my squirting flower. <laughs> you see some weird shit at strip clubs. Weird dudes too. You know, I've got some weird stuff going on right now. Um, last night was kind of a blur at work. And I can't quite remember if I started off the night with five or six ping pong balls. <laughs> If you hear a popping sound, it was six. <laughs> That's pretty hot, huh? I got it from my Star Trek convention nerdies that love that stuff. You should see the ears that come with this. More weird shit. I'm sure you guys love hearing about the weird shit at strip clubs you don't ever get to see. So the other night, a dude overstepped the three-foot rule. It was kind of weird. He, he reached over and he slapped the downstairs. Like straight up slapped it. Like Fifty Shades of Grey style slapped it. I was taken aback. But I guess we've proved, you know, that white guys will hype hype anything. I'm running out of clothes. You guys are long I really thought that I wasn't going to get past the snowsuit. <laughs> so, obviously, we gotta bring this up because I know you guys are all wondering if I have daddy issues. <laughs> yep, straight up. Classic daddy issues. You know, he was never around when he was. Big jerk. You know, the usual. But now, since I've become a stripper, things are good. Life is fantastic. I've got 99 daddies, and that bitch ain't one. <laughs> no, it's really true. <laughs> I wish that like this was getting YouTube so you could watch that. Dagger. Sorry, daddy. I'm a stripper. <laughs> At Thanksgiving, he would always talk about, you know, how I couldn't work at Hooters because I didn't have the goods. I do now. <laughs> well, so I'm not sure if you guys know this little tidbit. Xanax, it actually makes your breath smell sweeter. It's kind of like the candy coating on Advil's, but better. I mean, that's why I take it. 
<laughs> yeah, no, seriously. Um, I mean, of course, it could be that my breath is so sweet because it's all the blueberry, pomegranate, raspberry, foo-foo, gluten-free drinks I down without abandonment throughout the night, too. <laughs> or it could be that I just blew Willy Wonka. <laughs> I'm not quite sure about that. <laughs> hey, um, quick question. Does anybody know if Purell makes a lube? <laughs> A, a friend wants to know. <laughs> That's it for me tonight. Thanks, guys. <laughs>